Hello, how you guys doing? I'm Nina. Thank you, that's cool. I feel like a teacher. Um, <laughs> so before I even get started with anything, I just want to um, kind of thank SCI Pittsburgh and TEDx. Uh, this is a really, really cool opportunity for an artist like me. I've played a lot of shows on a lot of places and for a lot of different crowds, uh, and this is, this is very cool for me. I really... It's a profound honor for me to get to play for you guys and to have you know, people that I respect as professionals and as people here to actually see a different side of me is pretty, pretty special for me. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about time. Um, time's weird because you, know, you can have snapshots and pictures of things and you can look at them and you can say, God, I remember that day or why does my hair look so frizzy in that picture? Or, what is that? But you don't, you don't really remember exactly what you were feeling when you took that picture, when someone else took that picture of you. For me, I have this gift of writing a song and I can play it and whenever I play it again, I remember where I was when I wrote it. I remember what hit me as the first moment of inspiration of, huh, I can write a song about this. And I can remember who was there and what I was feeling and all the emotions that were coursing through me and, and I get to relive it and I get to learn from it. And that's so important, because if you, if you forget about your past, you're not gonna grow. You're never gonna grow, you're never gonna change. So for me, if I play these songs and I remember where I was and I remember what it's about, I, le I learn from it and I grow from it and it's so special for me. And it's kind of helped me be a better professional and a better person. Um, so I encourage you guys to find some sort of outlet, something that you can, that even on your darkest day and your darkest hour, when you feel like there is nothing worth living for, find a reason. Find a reason, whether it's a person, whether it's a thing, whether it's a hobby or something, your career um, or a dream, some kind of dream that you have somewhere deep in your mind that you know that you have something to live for. Find it. I always say, find your reason. Because I found mine, and that was art and music and, and figuring things out and, and, and doing, you know, just finding out who I am and helping other people find out who they are through my music. And music's a really cool thing for me because I'm putting into it just as much as you are. When you're listening to me, you're giving me the gift of acknowledging what I'm feeling and you're understanding where I'm coming from. And to get that kind of reception as an artist is beautiful because I'm giving my, I'm bearing my soul for you guys and, and you're giving it back to me. So I'll never stop performing because of that feeling. When I look into someone in the audience and I can see in their eyes a feeling, man, like I felt that, I've been there. And you know, I might look different, I might sound different, I might look like I'm a completely different person than you, but I'm not. I'm who I am and you who you are who you are. And we're nothing, nothing the same, nothing alike. Um, we're all different and I just want I just want to really, really encourage you to find a reason. Find a reason to write love notes. Find a reason to write letters. Write people and every chance you get, write. Write down what you're feeling so that you can go back and you got it all out and you can go back and listen to it and think about it and relive it. And it's, it's just really, really important. Um, so if you can find a reason, don't, don't ever let it go. Um, write, find a reason to write your own love notes and I hope that, that that works for you and I hope that you can find a creative outlet because I certainly have. When I first found out I was gonna play TEDx, I was like, oh God, what am I gonna sing? Jeez, pressure. Um, so I kind of went through my songbook and I was like, I don't think I've ever written anything that fits this event. So I, uh, for about two months, I completely like, filled my trash can with 45 different song ideas that just didn't work out. And I was just thinking one day, I was, I was mad about something. I don't even remember what it was. And I was just like, God, don't people just understand that I'm just, I just am what I am. Like I am who I am and that's just what it is. That's how it's gonna be. And uh, so I just thought about this, this you know, the profound, two words of I am. What are you? I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I'm a professional, I'm a fool sometimes, but aren't we all? Um, so I just, this song is about just being who you are and I hope that you appreciate who I am because I so greatly appreciate what this event is and who you all are. Um, so thank you for having me and uh, hope you like my song. I know I told you I was different 
Well, honey, I'm just like you. Sometimes when I paint a picture, the sky don't look so blue. And I may say all the wrong things and laugh a little too loud. But I've got nothing to be but proud. And if I look a little lost, well, these are my plans. And if I seem a little foolish, well, I know where I stand. And if I'm wrong sometimes, I'm doing what I can. Cause I'm just a work in progress. I guess I am what I am I know I told you I was stronger Well, honey, I'm just like you Sometimes the life I'm living It's not the one I choose And I may fall too hard and love more than I should. But I've done what I could. And if I look a little lost, well, these are my plans. And if I seem a little foolish, well, I know where I and if I'm wrong sometimes, I'm doing what I can. Cause I'm just a work in progress. I guess I am what I am. I hope that when you listen, you see I'm just like you. Sometimes the lies I tell myself, they get me through I stumble and fall, and in the end I know nothing at all We might be wrong sometimes, we're doing what we big favor just for like one second just if you remember what I sang at all I'm gonna do this two times okay but I'm gonna do something a little bit different when I do this I'm gonna go da, 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 and you guys are gonna answer da, 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 da. so if you believe in anything that I just said just sing along with me okay I'm just a work in progress I guess I am what I am da, 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 da. Yeah, that's good da, 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 da. Like my biggest dream to have an audience sing back to me even if it's just mumbled words so you guys just made this girl's day life and dreams come true so thank you <laughs> the 
Yeah, I just really want to thank everybody. Um, and Secretary Wetzel, you're one of the finest, finest professionals and human beings that I've ever come in contact with. And what you've done for me professionally and as a person, I don't think I could ever, ever repay you. Um, Aaron Brown, the best supervisor ever. Um, <laughs> Just thank you to everybody that came out for this event, and I hope you realize that if you spoke and if you said anything today, that you changed at least one person's life because you changed mine. Um, so even if you did nothing, I hope that you take that away knowing that, you know, you really made a difference to me today, and I've learned a lot, and I hope I taught you a little bit. Um, probably going to go meditate now because I've been nervous for the past, like, month. So now that I got that over with, um, just really want to thank you guys, and have a good night. I'm Nina.